Well, we can speak now to Mandy Palmucci, who joins us from Los Angeles. Mandy was at the Belle Equipe Bar on the 13th of November 2015 when the shooting started. Mandy, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. The trial obviously got started today. Can I just start by asking you, do you have any expectations of this trial? No, I, being in the U.S. and not hearing much about it, um, I haven't had a lot of time to mentally prepare, but um, I don't have any expectations and I don't personally feel as though I require anything from it. Do you think one of the things it might do, though, is perhaps answer some of the many unanswered questions or perhaps bring a sense of closure to you? In this instance, um, these circumstances, I don't particularly believe that closure can be obtained um, for myself. But um, and as far as answering questions about the whys and the hows, I'm I suppose it could help. I, I kind of ascribe to hurt people hurt people. And so I think of the humanity that existed at some point in the perpetrators. So perhaps, if anything, their answers could could lead us to how they got to that point um, that night. And, and perhaps help prevent another such uh, attack, something of that nature. Absolutely. Yes. Tell us what happened to you on the night of the 13th of, of November, if you're able to. I was uh, at La Belle Equipe for a couple of drinks with some friends on holiday. It was our last night um, in France and uh, we were getting ready to pay our bill to go on to a restaurant um, and about a minute after we had decided to leave, um, I heard or we heard some popping noises and I had my back to the street. So I had turned in the direction of the noises and was able to see some flashing lights. And I don't know what in my brain connected it to gunfire, but I knew immediately and we dropped to the ground. Um, and then for the next uh, minute and a half, they shot uh, into the, the terrace where we were and reloaded and shot again um, for another minute or so before leaving. And we, those of us who were still alive, um, uninjured as I was, continued to lie there um, unsure if they had actually left or not. And it wasn't until, I'm not sure who, uh, people on the perimeter bystanders started to say that they were gone and we could get up. And what, what went through your mind? Did you, did you uh, realize immediately that they must be terrorists or did you think perhaps it was another, re did, did, was that one of the questions you asked yourself? What, what, what is going on here and who are these people? And uh, no, actually, I didn't even think about terrorism. Um, unfortunately, you know, living in the United States, mass shootings are a common occurrence. And one of the very first things that went through my mind as I was lying on the ground and they were shooting was, I'm in a mass shooting, like what happened in Colorado at the movie theater. And um, so I never... I, didn't, I don't think I had the luxury to think about who it was and why it was or anything like that. And it really, and, and being unaware of everything that was going on around the city, it wasn't until um, just after midnight when I was able to get back to the hotel room and turn on the TV and, and started to glean some idea as to what was happening. But, excuse me, it was never, it was never on, in my mind that that was what it could be. Mandy, it's been nearly uh, six years. Um, we're two months away from the six month, uh, the six year anniversary. Tell us how you're doing now. It's you know it's funny. I mean, some days it feels like it's been six years, and some days it feels like yesterday. Um, and you just you never know what's going to trigger those types of feelings. Sometimes it's um, 
little things or for instance when i was notified about this trial in june that was kind of um, an emotional time where i needed a few days to think through everything so there's there's really no pattern um, i've worked on as many of the triggers that i can that i have uh, experienced from that night but if this is something i carry with me every single day and recurrent nightmares um on occasion uh fortunately i think that they don't happen as often but um they're just it's more daytime waking memories than anything just lastly mandy can i just ask you do you have any feelings as to what would be fitting punishment for those people standing trial today. What, what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, this, I think, goes back to how understanding how someone can get to this point. So I think that, you know, punishment, it, it sounds very negative. It sounds um, kind of angry to me. And without understanding you know, deep down what each man experienced up till that day. I don't, I don't know how to say it's best to um, address it. Okay, well, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Mandy Palmucci in Los Angeles, thank you very much indeed for sharing that with us. Thank you.